If you ever experience spell print like this, that could mean your leaf distance is not high enough for your FEP to release the printed layer. Now, let us learn how to set your leaf distance. Whether you are using lychee, cheetah box, or any other slicer, the principle is the same. Here I am using Cheetah 2.0 as example. First is the setting for those that only use one bit setting. You could see the second column here all are zeros. And if you are using small, medium, or big printer, depends on how full your build plate is. On small printer, you could give it like four, or up to six millimeter. And if you are on medium sized printer, you could give it like six to eight millimeter. And if you are on a large printer, you could give it like eight up to 12 millimeter lift distance. And remember, all depends on how full your bleed plate. And for the speed setting, I always believe slow but sure. On small, medium, or even big printer, the slow speed I would use is at 60 millimeter per minute. And yes, I keep the speed at the same pace on both bottom and normal layer. The same with the retract on the bottom and the normal layers. The highest speed that I would use on a single speed setting is 150 millimeters per minute. If the slicer that you are using is not showing millimeter per minute, instead millimeter per second, then 60 millimeter per minute is the same as one millimeter per second. So you could calculate your own conversion. Now, some would argue I could use a speed as high as 240 or 320. It is up to you. I believe in slow but sure because my focus is a good and smooth print surface. Because in my opinion, a high speed setting, especially in a single speed setting printer, it's like you are ramming your screen with your build plate and the printed layer. And yes, your LCD screen will suffer. So with a single speed setting, it will take a while for your print to finish your model. So there's a TSMC two-stage motion control. Basically, if you look at the arrow provided by Cheetah Box here, your print will start moving up slow and then catching up fast and then it will retract fast and then it will slow down before back to zero. And this is where I often see people input the wrong number when they are using TSMC. If your TSMC setting looks like this or similar to this, then your setting is wrong. Let's say your printer best leaf distance is five millimeters and you want to use TSMC. I would suggest the initial layer, the leaf distance is one or two millimeter is enough. Same for the normal layers, one or two millimeter is enough. But I would input one here for the initial lifting. And then I would input four millimeter for the rest of the lift distance. Same with your normal layer, four. And in this area, the retract distance it is darkened and you cannot change the setting. This area is for your fast retract speed. You do not change that. You only input the area for your slow retract speed. So I want to match my lifting. I would input one 
and then also the same here i would input one so this is the lift distance for my tsmc and then we want to input the speed i want the first one millimeter when the build plate start lifting to be at 60 millimeter per minute and then i want the rest of the four millimeter i want it to catching up speed i will input 150 and then for the normal layers it is the same i want the first one millimeter when the plate lifting is at 60 millimeter per minute and then i want the rest of the normal layer lifting speed is also at 150. now this is where most people get it wrong in this column here it is the fast retract speed okay this is for your fast retract speed you could input whatever number you want but i usually keep both my lift and retract at the same speed i want to keep things simple so i would input the fast retract for my bottom is at 150 so for the four millimeter retract distance i want my retract speed to be 150 and then for the rest of the one millimeter when it is about to return to zero i want the speed to slow down to 60. the same with the normal layer the first four millimeter retract distance i want it to be 150 the fast speed the last one millimeter before it is touching zero i want it to slow down to 60. and this is the correct format for your tsmc setting the slow speed lifting it is so that your plate is not jerking when it starts to lifting that could cause bad print line and then the fast speed here it is to make up for faster print time the same with the retract speed the high speed is to catching up for faster print time and then the slow speed here it is to ensure your plate could return to zero without climbing on your lcd screen and have enough time for the resin to spread evenly this is the tsmc setting that i always use the difference is depends on the size of the printer i would adjust the lift distance Let's say I am on my medium sized printer, I would give it like five. So the total lift distance is six millimeter. If I am on my Mega 8K printer, my total lift distance is nine millimeter. So I would input on the fast is like eight. But I keep the speed setting the same on all of my printer. After you set your lift distance, you could print this model that I provided, link in video description. It is basically a suction cup test to see if the lift distance is high enough to release the printed layer. You could spread them on your plate like this, and the print result should look like this. For beginner user, as long as all stick very well to the plate, then you are completely fine. For more advanced user, if the model base is very thick or the letter in the center barely or not showing, that could mean you have compression from leveling your plate too low. And that is for another video to solve the problem. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you don't miss out. After watching this video, I highly recommend that you test the distance and speed that works for you because my setting may not be the best setting. The best setting is the one that you test and work for you. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Thank you to all my YouTube member and Patreon member. Thank you everyone because of your support. I could keep making this videos.